Hey guys, what's going on? Barbecue Pitmasters YouTube Finals. You're looking at me, 805 Barbecue, Brother George, Salt Pepper Fire, Brother John. It's battle time, barbecue platter, right? Today I'm throwing down brisket, baby back ribs, chicken. Gonna have some sides, you'll see it's gonna be fun. You know me like I always say, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be money. Stick around. All right, guys, so you can see here, I went with the brisket point, right? Love the point, it's all I ever eat. I don't like the flat, so why am I gonna buy the flat? I can get half a brisket for half the price, all right? Good looking point. It is a prime brisket. Pick this up at our local grocery store, H-E-B. Not bad, does have a little thick fat cap here. I'm just gonna slice a little bit of that off. We'll get it seasoned up. Just like that. No binders, you know me, I don't believe in binders. I don't find them necessary. Gonna hit it up with the Texas Trinity first. Salt, pepper, garlic, and onion. You can see in a little bit of a wind. That's all right. Only going with the Trinity on the bottom side. We're gonna go with the other when we come around. Again, Trinity. You can go aggressive, go heavy. You know how it is, right? It's brisket. All right. Beef hog. Stuff's excellent on beef and pork, thus the name. Again, don't be afraid to go aggressive with it. Rubs and spices, I'll put a link below in the description. And you can get you some. If you're in San Antonio or surrounding areas, we sell it here at Barbecue Outfitters where I'm working. For some people say where I just hang out. So you can see it's it. We're gonna let this sit just for a couple minutes. We'll get it on the GMG. All right, guys, it's been 10 minutes. Brisket sweated out nicely. GMG's running at 250. Let's go ahead and get it on. Got that bottom rack hidden. Let's go. All right, guys, chicken time, yard bird. Gonna season them up with some duck fat. I've got leg quarters here, five leg quarters and two halves. So I think it's gonna be money. Go ahead and give them a little spray. It's like painting your car, remember? <laughs> Texas Freebird Chicken Seasoning. Again, my own. You'll see the description below. Come on here. Don't want to go as aggressive like we did on the brisket. Just a little goes a long way. Texas Freebird is a sweet rub. Some good color. It's actually got a little butter in it. Don't forget to go underneath that wing. The duck fat is actually gonna help with the color and it will give it a little crispiness too depending on the temperature you're cooking. We're gonna be running at 325, 350. That's about it right there. I think that looks good. Let's get it on. All right, eggs running 350. Money, once you set these eggs, they don't move. If you know what you're doing, adjusting your vents. Luckily, I've learned how to do it. All right, let's go. Get that top rack back. Gonna put the halves on the bottom, like so. We'll go with leg quarters on top. I'll get some good color on these birds. Shouldn't take but about an hour at 350 to 400. All right, guys, baby back ribs, one rack. All I need is a few bones. Probably gonna eat the whole thing, but let's get these season up again. You know what, Texas Trinity, heavy grains, perfect on ribs. Brother James at Amy McClellan said it's a Texas style rub or a Texas style rib. So I'm gonna quote that. Salt, pepper, and garlic. And onion, SPG on steroids, what James said. Put this backside over. I already peeled the membrane, took that off a little while ago. Y'all have seen that done probably a couple hundred times, right? No big deal. It's all about the ribs, all about that meat. Just make it pretty. 
and get it on the smoker. Not even gonna let it sit. We're gonna take it over there right now. Let's go. All right, guys, get it on. Right here, upper rack. Right above the brisket, just like that. Leaving this space open is where the potatoes that I made are gonna go on here. Get that smoke on them. All right. Show you that in a second. Guys, cheesy potatoes, smoked cheese potatoes. All right. I'm gonna go on the smoker. Top shelf. Let them get all melty and ooey gooey. Now what I did with these guys, right? I boiled the potatoes, baby red potatoes. Got them good and hot, not too soft. We're not making making mashed potatoes, right? We are just boiling them till tender, rinsing them, putting them back in the pan, breaking them up a bit, adding a little cream of mushroom, adding a little cream of chicken, blending all those in there, throwing a little bit of sour cream, mixing it all up, mixing it together, throwing in some of my Texas beef hog seasoning, mixing that up, adding some cheese, and then the final layer of cheese on top, onto the smoker it went. That's it. All right, guys, dessert, right? Every good barbecue platter has to have a dessert. Today I'm going with something very simple, easy. It can be made in a couple of different ways, different flavor profiles, whatever you like. Today we're going with a dump cake, kind of cake, kind of cobbler, right? Cherry pineapple, super easy to make. First get canned cherries, pie filling, Throw it down, real easy to do. Kids can join in on it. Just don't let them put it on the smoker, right? Get that laid out. Come back with your pineapple, crushed pineapple, works best. I've tried it with chunk pineapple, sliced pineapple, it's just better with the crushed. You can get it throughout a little easier. Tapioca mix, adds a really good flavor to it. Dry tapioca. If I can get it open. <laughs> Sprinkle a bit. Basically on a big sheet pan, you're gonna use the whole pack. We're using about half a pan today, so I'm not gonna go with a full pack on here. All right, just a little bit. That's pretty good right there. Just like that, all right. Cake mix, same thing with the cake mix. Don't go with a full box. All right, I'm gonna sprinkle again across. Now this one you do wanna go covered completely very easy to do I mean that's a lot left over right you can make multiple of these different flavors like I said now butter you got to have some butter room temperature butter let's get some pats laid on there no particular method just kind of lay them out that butter is actually what's going to melt into your batter and you put as much or as little as you like now this is going to go on the mini max egg which is running 350 right now. It should take more than half an hour or so. Let's get this over there. Guys, you can see the eggs running about 360 or so. It's gonna fluctuate a little bit. It's gonna pop up actually when we raise the lid, but that's okay. It's gonna go right on top, dead center. Give it a nice shut. We'll come back and check out in about 15, 20 minutes, see what it looks like. All right, guys, chicken's been on for about 45 minutes. It's probably done. Let's take a quick peek. Yeah, look at that. Nice golden color. It's splitting the skin back, pulling back on the legs. That's fine. Got some peppers I'm going to throw on here just to grill them up a little bit. Like Easter eggs. All right, that's good enough. Brisket is done. Took it off the smoker. It ran on the GMG at 250 till it got to the color I liked. I wrapped it in foil, bumped the heat up to 300. Total cook time was about eight and a half hours, right? It's been a good cook, wrapped it in full. It's been resting for two hours. Let's get into it. Let's slice it up. It's nice. Good bark, good color. Happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and slice it down the middle first. Get a good color on it. See what we got. Not bad, not bad little smoke ring there. I'll take it, I'll take it, looks good. Go ahead and get some slices here. I do like the point as I stated earlier, it's just, you got the flat on the bottom, of course point on top. I don't slice them any other way. I'd like to keep them together. 
just makes for a better meal, a better sandwich, whatever you want to do with it. You want to chop it, you can chop it, cube it up, make burnt ends. This is how I like it and how I like serving it. Some good color there, not bad. That GMG did well. I mean, that's, of course, the point is supposed to be that way, and that's why I like it. Fat is flavor, right? Let's go ahead and get this other side. A cut. There we go. Good color, good marbling there. Nice bark. You can see that there. Good shine. Let's go ahead and give this a little taste. I'll go first. Look at that. Oh yeah. Guys, that's a good brisket. Ribs, baby backs, my favorite. Everybody does spares. Spares are good, got a lot of meat, but I think baby backs got a little more, especially on that fat end. Been resting for about an hour or so as well. Got some good pullback on the bones. Looking good. Let's see what we did here. There we go. There we go. That good color again. Love that baby back. Love that Texas Trinity. Got some good moisture. That bark is killer. I think we're gonna do all right with this one. Let's get the rest of these cut up. We'll get them on that platter. All right, hey guys, it is done. It's been a long day. We knocked it out. Here you go. We got brisket, prime brisket, point. I like that point. Don't care too much about the flat. There's favor and fat and fats in the point. Baby back ribs, slow cook. Baby back's my favorite. Spares probably what's more common, but who doesn't love a good baby back, right? So we got some baby backs here. Smoked for a while. Got that Texas Trinity on there too. We got chicken, went ahead, just went with a half here. You got pulled chicken sandwich right here. We've got brisket sandwich over here. Got my homemade barbecue sauce. Money, sides. We got some grilled peppers. We've got some cheesy homemade potatoes. You saw how I made those. Easy, easy. If I can do it, you can do it. Baracho beans. Alcohol free baracho beans, that's thing. Really, really good. Homemade pickled red onions. And of course, you got to have dessert, right? That's that cherry, pineapple, dump cake, cobbler. Good stuff. Again, seasoned. Galindo's Texas Freebird, Texas Trinity, and Beef Hog. And of course, don't mess with Texas. Guys, this is my entry. Hope it wins. Hope it rocks. George, John, good luck. Voting, you gotta go to Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue channel, go to his community tab. You see our three names listed, three videos. Go check out the videos, watch the other guys' videos, watch mine, vote for who you think's best. All right, let's be fair, let's be honest with this, but uh, I kind of know where you're going, right? At least you better be. Appreciate y'all watching. Again, the links will be in the description below. Gonna rock it. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.